So let's remove the black background to make that area, the black area will be transparent so we can see that our fog is sort of coming in. All right, so how do we do that? Go here to Fusion, then on the keyboard, Shift and Spacebar at the same time. Then I've already typed in, you don't need to type this in, just type in Luma or so, Loom, Luma, and then you'll see there's Luma here. That's what we want. So select that, and you'll see that most of the work is already done. Now, you can adjust the luminance if you want a little bit more opacity to the white area here. I'm dealing with the fog or smoke, so part of it can be a little bit more transparent. So actually, I'm pretty satisfied with that. But you can make some finer adjustments here, even give a little bit of a blur to some of the edges. But I think this is okay. So let's go back to the edit page. It looks like nothing was done, but we have to put something underneath it, of course. So let's just put a photo here, and we can see that... Yeah, that looks pretty good. And we could even fine adjust it to get some of the little bit of the darker color out of it. Now, if you want to stick around, I will also do it with a white background instead. And then I will also show you why I do this and how I export it out and then put into Keynote for making kind of cool presentation slides. But if you just wanted to know how to remove the black background, boom, now you know. Okay, so now how do we do the same thing except with a white background? So in this case, we have some smoke. We want to remove the white background, so we just go again to fusion on the keyboard shift spacebar and then we can type in the luma keyer i already did of course because we were there, just there and you'll see what happens is that it removed all of the, the the black or gray area rather than the white so no problem you just go to invert and then there we go and this is smoke in this case so it's okay if it's if it's a little bit transparent so again we can adjust that if you want the smoke to be a little bit darker but in my case, I think it's okay. So again, what does this look like? We don't see any change here, but if we pull an image down underneath it, we can see that, yeah, it doesn't apply to this photo, but it does work. That's really nice. All that black area now, it was white, or black, whatever, it's removed. So we have now an alpha channel if we export it the correct way. So how do we export this? And I'll just do it for this one. So what we do is we go to the rocket ship here. This is deliver or export. And then what's important, let me give it a different name. So we'll call it, okay, Smoke X2. It's this part right here. So you can have many different, you know, adjustments here. So you want it to look like this. QuickTime for the format, Apple ProRes for the codec, and then make sure this one here, which is uh, labeled type, but just call it, uh, just select rather Apple ProRes 4444. And then this is really important that you click on the export alpha, and that's going to give us our alpha channel. So then go down here to add to render queue and then to render right here. So here we have the two files that we exported. But one thing you'll notice is look at the size of that, almost three gigabytes. So yeah, you could put that into Kino, but we don't want to do that. That's unnecessarily large. So how do we decrease the size of the file but still keep the quality? So double click on it and what we're going to do inside QuickTime export as is 1080p and then here is the magic make sure you choose smaller file size atvc and we'll just call it a uh, small two and save that so here's our new file now and you can see the size in this case uh, 43 megabytes so it's not tiny but it's much smaller so if we pull that into keynote we can see that yeah it worked right there's our fog and you could do something like this and all that is if we look at the layers. So it's that fog video in three different times, uh, three different layers, right? So let's look at the other one. And how about smoke? Smoke is not as large, but also very large. So we don't want to mess with something like this inside our slide. We don't have to do that. So again, same way, just double click on it. And it does have an alpha channel. It's not, doesn't actually have a black background, although it looks like it. So same way, 1080p is the size and then smaller file size AGVC, and let's give it a different name. Okay, so here's the one that we made smaller, and let's see if we just drag and drop it in. Yeah, it works fine, right? Okay, and then here's the example of how I used it. All right, so in this case, what it is, is I just, again, I just repeated it. So you can see that I used the smoke in it, maybe one, two, three, four, or five, just different sizes yeah it looks like a video but it's not a video it's just a keynote slide with some videos placed in there that have um, alpha channels so they have the transparency right that's how you do it and that's how you could use it actually in a keynote presentation mm -hmm.